everyone we welcome back so today we'll be configuring all the provisioning for microsoft defend for cloud so before jumping into the video if this is the first time that you're visiting my channel please do subscribe to stay updated so let's jump into the video so let's click the microsoft defender and here let's go to the environmental settings and let's select our subscription and in the previous video we have talked about the different uh, different plans so what are these and now we'll be talking about the auto provisioning so when you enable this auto provisioning for any of the supported extensions the extensions are installed on existing and future machines in the subscription so when you disable auto provisioning for uh, an extension the extension is not installed in the future machines but however it is not uninstalled from the current machine hope you've understood it and uh, defender for cloud collects the data from uh, your azure virtual machines virtual scale sets uh, is containers and so on and even on premises uh, machines as well to monitor for security or vulnerabilities and threats so you can see we have uh, various uh, sections here the log analytics uh, agent the guest configuration agent as well as microsoft defender for containers and components so everything has been enabled if you don't want this you can just disable it so, uh, but in this case i'm just leaving it enabled and one more thing about uh, auto so auto provisioning reduces management overhead by installing all required agents and extensions on existing and new machines uh, to ensure faster security coverages for all supported resources so when auto provisioning is on uh, for the log uh, analytics agent defender for cloud de uh, deploys the agent on all supported azure uh, virtual machines and uh, any new ones that has been created so you have to just uh, do the operations and you just need to click save and it will be done for you so let's see whenever we on this we have some configurations here right so let's click the configurations So coming to the auto provisioning configurations we can see we have uh, two different types of agents one is log analytics agent which we use the most and the other one is uh, azure monitor uh, agent we have default workspaces as well as custom workspaces so let's talk about let's uh if we connect azure virtual machines to a default workspace created by the defender then uh, the defender for cloud creates a new resource group and default workspace in the same geolocation and connects to this uh, connects to the agent to the uh, workspace so the subscription contains vms from multiple geolocations then the defender for the cloud creates multiple workspaces to ensure that the compliance with the data uh, privacy requirements and coming to the different uh, different workspaces so this option is useful if you are using centralized workspace in your organization and uh, want to use it for the secure data collection so these are some of the uh, things that I've got to know when I was doing the docs. So, so let's uh, select the default one log analytics. And uh, if you have any workspace created in your uh, directory, you can just select here, but right now I've not created any workspace. So there is none for me. However, you can create one and you can select them. So let's go to the default one and uh, and meanwhile you can also read it so workspace selection so you can see the data collected uh, by defender for the cloud stores in log analytics workspace you can select to have data collected from azure vm stored in the workspaces created by the defender for cloud or an existing workspace that you have created so this is what it is and coming to the security event storage let's see what it is so to help audit investigation and analyze threats you can collect uh, raw events logs and additional security data and save it in your log analytics workspace so select the uh, level of uh, data to store to the workspace change will be uh, for all settings other than the none so we have different selections here all events common minimal and none so let's see what it is so if you select none so it will so coming to the none it disables security event storage which is the default one and coming to the next which is the minimal a small set of events for when you want to minimize uh, the event volume and coming to the common a set of events that satisfy most customers and provides a full audit trial 
and coming to the all events for customers uh, who want to make sure that all the events have been stored so you can select uh, based on your requirement and select it and just uh, click apply for that it will be done for you so since uh, i just don't want anything so i'm just i'm, I'm just keeping it none i'm just leaving it there so this is how you can uh, configure the log analytics uh, agent or you can just uh, enable all the extensions and you can just click apply here so based on uh, your requirement you can select microsoft threat or uh, vulnerability uh, management or you can uh, select the policy scanner so based on your requirement you can go ahead and uh, perform the actions so so this is basic uh, introduction of auto provisioning i hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video if you've liked the video please click the like button below and if you want to subscribe to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thanks everyone